Hi everyone. This is Linda and I thought I'd show you how I made this card. And the reason why I wanted to show you is this is showcasing basically a new designer paper from our mini catalog coming up on May 1st. You can order this paper. It's uh, the Summer Mini and it's a specialty designer series paper. I'll hold it up for you. It's right here. It actually comes white. And this is what you'll receive. Can you see that? There is a little... I don't know if you can see it, but there is a design on there. And what we'll do is we'll bring out that design as we use our ink. We're going to sponge our ink on there. And this is the Presto Pattern Specialty Paper. And like I said, you can order it in May. I just gave you a little sneak peek. One page. That's it. <laughs> so let's get started. I, um, I'll give you the dimensions and so forth. This is my pretty in pink background base paper at 8.5 by 5.5. And, and I just scored it at 4 and a quarter. Then I have my white, which, let me just bring back the sample, which is your next layer, five and a quarter by four. And then my basic gray at five and three and by three, three and three quarters. Okay, and so I'll just start with the designer paper. I cut these in four squares, and it's two and three eighths by one and three quarters. Okay, and how I got this, that's how it starts out, white, and I'll show you how I got the pink. I'll bring in my Pretty in Pink ink and my sponge from Stampin' Up. And basically, you just want to keep rubbing and see how the design keeps coming out. I think this is so awesome. Let's see. And you can do it as light or as dark as you want. The darker, the more you rub on, the darker obviously the design will show through. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. And I'm just going to do a little bit more just to show you. I love it. it. This paper comes in four different designs. Actually, six different designs. Okay, so that's about as dark as I'm going to get it. And I did that to all four of my pieces, but I've already got some done because I didn't want to keep you um, watching. So why don't I just start to put these together and then I'll show you what else I did. So I layer my white onto my pink and actually by the way these are going to be my daughter's making her first communion so these are going to be the invitations. And I thought, you know, you can use any color with this designer paper. It's great. You can make any background, any color to match whatever you want. Let's do that. Okay, and then I just line these up too. Okay, we'll just put on our last piece. And basically I want to make sure that I have my tops lined up. I don't really care about the middle because I'll be putting my um, my oval. So I cut this out. This is a scalloped oval and then I cut out my white piece. And to bring in this pink hue, I just did the same thing. I took my ink and I just went around like this. Okay, see how it's starting to get a little bit darker? And you can do it. I kind of like to make the darker on the outside and then uh, towards the end will get lighter as I go. Something like that. All right, and I actually have one done, so we don't have to go ahead with that. I'm just going to glue this on. And then I took, you can take your, take your signal pen. I have a white gel pen. It really doesn't matter. And you just go around the edges. And I just did little dots. 
colored them in. So I thought this was a really cute idea. It's very elegant type paper. And I just wanted to color it pink because that's my daughter's favorite color. Then I took my special blessings kit. I mean, um, stamp set. Which is this right here. And I have a cross in it. It's a great set because it says, May God bless you. And then has all these different sayings. It says, On your wedding day, as you start your married life. On your baptism day, on your first communion, and on your special day. And I, I stamped this in basic gray, just on whisper white paper, and I cut it out. And then I also cut up my dimensionals, which are these. I cut them small when I have small areas to cover so you don't see it. And I'll just take these off. I just want to lay this down. Popped up. center. Yep. Now I had already went ahead and adhered, I did more dimensionals here. Because I love to pop things up. And we're just going to put that in the center. And then your card will be done. And I did try a bow on it and so forth, but I just thought that was enough with the paper. So there you go, it's all set. Isn't that beautiful? So try this paper out. I actually have another technique I'm going to try out and maybe add on to this video. Um, but thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.